Hi again guys and welcome to after quite a while <laughs> because of doing GT Sport content another tune setup a speed tune in particular for Forza Horizon 4 of course this time for a very popular car especially in the last game it might not necessarily be quite as popular now because it's not as quick as it used to be the Ferrari 488 GTB still a great car though now as far as the tuning goes this one, if I recall correctly, I think has the standard engine because it's got just under a thousand horsepower. So compared to quite a few other supercars, it's at a little bit of a disadvantage if you're talking pure speed. However, the acceleration is fantastic. As you can see, 1.6 seconds to 60 is really good. 3.3 to 100 is arguably even more impressive. 257 flat out, so it's nowhere near as quick as it was in the last game, but that's partially due to the lack of the engine swap. Still a very quick car though, still a very good one to use, especially if you're a fan of it, of course, because it's relatively affordable as well. Now, if you want to get this tune without doing it yourself, you can get it straight from my storefront by using the keywords down below. Or, of course, by using my game attack. However, if you want to do it yourself, then I'd recommend fitting all of the upgrades, all of the racing parts, but don't fit the front or rear wing. And a lot of stuff is optional. You know, if you want to change the wheels, that's up to you. But as far as power, weight, fit the transmission, fit the diff, the clutch, drive shaft, you know, everything. Widen the tires, racing tires, or drag tires if you want to. All that kind of good stuff. Now, as far as you can see here from the gearbox, I'd recommend a final drive of 3.65. Then for the individual gears, 2.9, 1.99, 1.5, 1.18, 0.95, and 0.77. So very familiar to anyone who's used my tunes before. Again, very familiar. <laughs> neutral camber, neutral toe. It is all-wheel drive, incidentally. Of course, that's down to personal choice, and you won't be as quick off the line if you don't fit it. As far as caster, we've got four degrees for that. Anti-roll on 30 for the front and the back. Springs on 100, 155, and I've opted for the lowest ride height you can get. Dampers are on 10, 14, 5, and 6. Aero doesn't apply. As I said, I would not recommend fitting the wings. And as far as the diff, no real surprises there. 100% on acceleration, zero for decel, that's what I've gone for at least, and an 80% rear bias. So quite a lot, quite a lot of the power and torque is focused on the back end. Just that little 20% though on the front makes a huge difference off the line. And of course, it makes a huge difference in inclement weather as well, like rain or snow or off-road. So that's it for the tune, but of course, as always, you want to see what it can do in action. So, let's find out. Now, as I said, this car does enter the supercar game at a disadvantage. It's got a lot less power. Sometimes two, three, four hundred horsepower less than many of its rivals, sometimes even bigger and badder rivals like full-on supercars or even hypercars, but it does a very good job of still being competitive. Now, as far as top end speed, it's a little bit heavier than some, as you'll see when I swap lanes forcefully <laughs> through the barricade, but overall, at lower speeds and mid speeds in particular, it's a really, really good contender. The handling is good, it's very forgiving, and off the line, it's really quick. So, if you do decide to use this tune, or grab it from my storefront, which of course is the easier way, I hope you have a ton of fun with it, and stick around here on the channel for more tunes, and click here on screen to see all of my others. But for now, as always, thanks for watching. 